Turkey is the bridge between Europe and Central Asia due to resources. At that time, much of the Middle East was under Allied control. So why, during World War II, did Hitler not attack Turkey to gain access to Middle Eastern oil? This also easily dealt a strong blow to the Allies. In addition, he could gain control of important straits in the Black Sea area, blocking the Soviet Black Sea fleet from reaching the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, Hitler attacked the Soviet Union in the Caucasus region to gain access to oil fields in Baku, Azerbaijan. To answer this question, we must first consider the trade between the two countries. In 1930, Germany was Turkey's most important trading partner. 8.6% of Turkey's imports came from Germany, and Germany also accounted for 13.1% of Turkey's exports. By 1936, that had risen to 46% and 49.5%. At this time, Germany maintained a leading position in the economic life of the Turkish people. Germany knows that if it attacks Turkey, it could suffer a lot of economic damage initially after the trade was disrupted, but it would soon find other export markets and suppliers to replace Turkey. However, there is a mineral that Germany cannot find an alternative source, which is chromium. Turkey is Germany's leading source of chromium. Chromium is an important metal in German tank and weapon construction. Germany may not need Turkish tobacco, but Germany does need chromium. Looking at the topographic map, you can see that much of Turkey's territory is hilly, coupled with poor road and rail systems. The area of Turkey is about 783,562 square kilometers. If you put this country in Europe, then this is the second largest country on this continent after the Soviet Union. The population of Turkey in 1940 was 7,800,000 people. At the same time, they will mobilize about 2,300,000 troops aged 15 to 35 years old. So, a war here will be very different from the war in the Eastern Delta. It would take the Germans a long time and a lot of firepower to prevail. This will give the Soviet Union more time to modernize its military. Furthermore, Germany's priority in World War II was oil. There was no oil in the German-occupied regions. Their current supplies meet only 2 million barrels a year. Access to the oil fields in the Middle East with the Persian Gulf was also difficult, and even if captured, extraction and transportation would be more difficult. Therefore, it was very important to arrange all forces except the defenders in the West to attack the Soviet Union and capture oil fields. It is estimated that during the Parabrosa campaign, Germany had mobilized two-thirds of its troops by then. If this campaign succeeds, they will capture the oil fields in Baku, Azerbaijan. That means they would have enough oil supplies for the war and cut off Soviet oil supplies. By this time, Azerbaijan was a country that supplied the majority of the oil to the Soviet Union. It would be better to keep the Turks neutral and attack the Soviet Union for oil would be better than opening an additional front and dividing forces. In addition, it is easier to transport oil north and through Ukraine than via Turkey. One more thing is that the UK has a fleet based in Cyprus. In case Germany invades Turkey, it will inevitably give up its neutral status and join the Allies. At this point, the UK will certainly support Turkey. The country also holds an important position because French and the UK aid to Romania will have to pass through the Bosphorus. Therefore, preventing Turkey from cooperating with the West became one of the main targets for German foreign policy at the beginning of World War II. Finally, Turkey, formerly known as the Ottoman Empire, was also an ally of Germany in World War I. And Hitler also sympathized with Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the first president of Turkey. So attacking Turkey would also affect other neutral countries like Sweden and Spain which are supplying most of the war materials to Germany, and they would fear that Germany would attack them as well as Germany did to Turkey. The explanation is a bit lengthy, but in short, Germany did not attack Turkey first, because Turkey is a neutral country, so not an enemy. They are also an important trading partner of Germany. Turkey also has no oil, rust, terrain, large territory, and opening an additional campaign means they have to split the number of fronts. Therefore, Germany had no reason to attack Turkey and risked letting it turn to the Allies.
Thank you for watching the video. If you see it is a good video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment on your opinion below the video. Thank you.